Hi, Matt with the E-Trailer, and today we're going to be talking about the Curt T connector. That's going to take your 7-pole to a 4-pole. If you ever need to connect to any accessories that just use 4-pole wiring, because it is still pretty common. It's definitely going to be something more used for if you have any utility trailers that don't have any electric brakes, or you just have any accessories on the back of your vehicle that has lights. So let's check it out. As for installing it, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is connect this to your existing seven pole wiring and you can use the other side to connect to your four pole wiring. Now I will say, once you have this connected, this doesn't come with a bracket. So it's just gonna hang just like that. So what I recommend is just investing in a bracket to hold up that four pole so you don't have it dragging around. And you can find one of those on our website. To show you actually how to install it, I'm just going to grab my existing seven pole and that's going to have our female end and I'm going to put our male end of our adapter in here. I'm going to push that until it clicks and is fully attached. And with that attached, I can grab my other end and if you do have that bracket, you can install that closer to your hitch receiver and that should do it. It's not a bad idea to hook up whatever you need lights to, just to make sure that your wiring's installed correctly and is working. So what I recommend is just turning on your lights in your vehicle and starting with your turn signals, making sure that works. Make sure both of them are active and check your brakes too. If you ever do wanna upgrade because this is only gonna allow you to use four pole wiring and you still want to use that seven pole wiring because maybe you have a truck and maybe in the future you want to haul some larger trailers that have seven pole wiring on them, then I'd recommend upgrading to either the Kurt splitter and that's going to give you the ability to use four pole and still keep your seven pole wiring. Or you go the route where you can get a Hopkins socket and that's going to have your seven pole and four pole wiring sockets on it. And if you do do that, you can place that wherever you want on your hitch or near your hitch receiver. Just be sure that you have plenty of room to put it there and you have plenty of wire to reach those sockets. If you don't, what you could do is just getting an extender so you can fill that gap. And that's just a look at our Kurt T connector that's gonna take our seven pole to a four pole wiring harness. Thanks for watching.